let's go to the next topic, family. Family is a normative source. Okay. Well, normative fact is created through ritual act with Ren that is generated from ritualization in the normative realm. In Confucius' view, family provides a fundamental source for normativity. When it comes to family, we can go back to the tradition of ancestor worship. Ancestor worship is established within a ritual community of family. In the Shang Dynasty, ancestral spirits of royal family had privilege of direct communication with the high god Shang Di. From this, they derive the political authority. Ancestral spirits of ordinary family provided ethical norm for the whole family. Shang people's ancestor worship was based on blood tie. In the Zhou Dynasty, ancestor worship was given a more formal interpretation. Ritual structure of family provides normative order where hierarchy and authority can be accounted for. Ancestor worship was based on ritual relation rather than biological relation. Confucius followed the Zhou taking ritual structure of family as the basis on which ethics and politics are constructed. If ritual structure of family provides a metaphysical base for political reality of Zhou dynasty, it is treated by Confucius as a normative realm in which moralization takes root. From ritual structure of family, we can get moral sense of hierarchy and authority. Confucius concentrates on moral sentiments associated with nuclear family and with immediately departed. For instance, gratitude toward parents for their nurturing love, responsibility of adult children for aged and feeble parents, a prolonged sense of loss when they depart. However, what Confucius wanted is not the natural sentiments, but the moral education. It is in the family that one first finds the emergence of rules of behavior that is based on spiritual moral assent rather than on physical coercion. The sentiments of gratitude and self-abnegation that dominate the prolonged mourning rites for parents may be considered the ultimate basis of that power of yielding, Rang, on which all Li are based. It is first of all in the family that Li and Ren are ideally fused. Confucius fully agrees with Master Yu, who said, quote, filial piety and fraternal feeling are they not the basis of Ren? Unquote. It is in the family that one learns how to exercise authority and how to submit to authority. And it is only the man of Ren who can do both. The family is ideally the first school of virtue and the source of those values which make possible the good society. However, Confucius does not assert that all actual families are the source of moralization of society. In a society where Dao is absent, 
the families of ordinary people who suffer deprivation and oppression cannot be expected to realize the moral potentialities of family life. The family life of the ruling class was sadly deficient in that time. A good part of the ruling class did not learn virtue in the bosom of the family. The situation could only be remedied through the political order and that the task must be undertaken by the good and the wise. To begin with, the good and the wise are supposed to be in the position of authority, both in moral terms and in social terms. It seems that Confucius had a hope that the ruling class could be transformed into a morally privileged class. This would start from transformation of family ethics, since the formation of the moral quality of those people who rule could find its base in the family. The personal cultivation of those with a vocation to rule is of the essence. The first proving ground of those dispositions and habits which lead men to handle power and authority correctly are the immediate relations of the sacred institution of the family. This is explicitly emphasized in the great learning. This is a later Confucian classic. Quote, he who wished to bring order to the state first harmonized his family. And wishing to harmonize his family, he cultivated his person." End quote. This Confucian doctrine could be taken as a lesson to learn from what was going on in the Zhou dynasty. The feudal structure of the Zhou had rested on the moral cement of abiding kinship loyalties of the dynastic lineage. The disintegration of such loyalties coincided with the disintegration of the entire Zhou political system. When Confucius was asked a question, why are you not serving in government? He answered, quote, What do the documents say about filial piety? Filial piety, nothing but filial piety and devotion to your brothers. This is being active in government. This is also serving in government. Why must what you call serving in government be the only form of governing." Unquote. Here, Confucius makes a point that the same fundamental qualities which are required to restore the moral basis of authority in government are to be found in family relations. The example of a harmonious family may radiate its effects onto the surrounding environment, even when one is not in government. <laughs>